the finest silks from the master weavers of Randala. Come, come, feel its softness. Chocobo Make a steaks, nice gift for your wife. sausage, all from greens-fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the lot. curatives, restoratives, all you like, sir. It's all fresh. Oh, he burned it off! Might I interest you in a potion, lady? Perhaps a soothing salve to ease the aches of the road? I'm sorry. I wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Calmatives, curatives, restoratives. Five years later? Dang. to see you Sid he's going by the name Sid now what have we learned the bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town and I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way Kuka's private guard it's a trap and not a very good one at that Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort. Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer. That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. <laughs> Are they? He's gonna break. You can already tell. Damn it all. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just is, don't say I didn't warn you. Is it just weird to Clive like get way hotter? You're Sid now. And if anything happens to him, we're finished. Where's Clive's gotten like way hotter? Did I call him Sid earlier? Oh, now it's gonna be confusing because they're calling him Sid, but he's Clive. Ah! No, I won't. I want to whip her around. Lise, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us. I beg of you. Quiet means quiet, branded scum. It's going to be all right. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? Sick! Sid's here!
any others. The bear is safe. Sick. All right, Thunder. Clive has claimed the portion of the icon Ramu's essence. I'm so sad. <laughs> Uh, tuning with Ramu not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but uh, also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Thunderstorm, which rains Levin bolts down on all nearby enemies, knocking them back. Ability details are found on the abilities tab in the main menu. Uh, Ram Ramu's iconic feat, uh, Blind Justice, can be used to launch a barrage of ball lightning at up to nine targets, determined by locking onto them. The lightning will temporarily remain affixed to a target and can be ignited by striking it. Sick. Sid dies here. Donde? Oh. How many are there? Titan sends his regards. Oh, Titan? The okay, yeah, sure. I'm honestly thinking about it. I'm kind of glad Sid's not alive to see all of his hard work, like all the people that he housed and saved, all dead. What kitten is a coral? They brought a pet. You'll pay for what you've done, Sid. Those things are fast. We'll have to be faster. <laughs>
fist. <laughs> Pansies! Come back here! They'll tell Hugo. Let them. There's been more than enough bloodshed for one day. Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. What? Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole. All because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all mugged now. <laughs> <laughs> For five years, we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we will stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. <sighs> what do you mean return to the hideaway? Wasn't the whole thing destroyed? Is there a new hideaway? That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope. For a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> A world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Rides over, lovebirds, home sweet home. Oh. That's smart. No one probably goes out there. Does, yeah. Otto was asking. Yeah, exactly. Let's go and see him. Uh, never a 
dull moment. Oh man, I love this music. It's okay, Jill. Will want to know what happened in Cosmos. I expect he'll be in the mess. at least it's a bogo! you're wondering what this new board is behind me aren't you all in good time my fearless friend all in good time This morning, Victor sends his thanks. <laughs> I doubt Kupka will miss the fools he sent to catch me. Not a single one of the bearers we saved showed any interest in coming with us. No one seems keen to join hands with an outlaw. Any news while we were away? None worth mentioning. Gav's still off keeping an eye on the Republican army. Should be back any day now. Understood. If anyone needs me, I'll be in the map room. Oh, she made it out. Still can't work that one out. There must be better places than the hull of a gutted airship to bury your nose in a book. Yet this is where she's chosen to be. And I'm sure she has her reasons. Oh no, that's that's a different or is it? I trust her. Yeah, never mind. I thought she made it out. Never mind. Back from your mission? I'm beginning to think your habit of surviving cannot be attributed to luck alone. One might say the same of you, Vivian Ninetales. I'll have you know that only four attempts have been made on my life, and none was especially memorable. So, to what do I owe the honor? Could it be that you've come for one of my lessons? <laughs> Is that so hard to believe? Very well, then. Shall we start with the state of the realm? To absolutely no one's surprise, she finds herself at the mercy of armies and outlaws. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Well, mostly armies. Though that's not for want of trying, is it, Clive? But the real question is, how did we get here? Long though Sambrek's dominion over northeastern storm has endured, recent days have seen the blight wrest ever more land from her grasp. For which reason she has continued to oh my God, her stop it across the strait, hoping to claim less blackened pastures. But Odin would sooner pawn his sword than would loot relinquish ash. And the Empire pays dearly for every blade of grass bent beneath Sambraqua boots. Little wonder then that Sylvester set his sights on the crystalline dominion, an altogether easier target, possessed of no less ether. It was five years ago, while you were busying yourself with the destruction of Drake's head, that the Empire made its move, subjugating its theretofore neutral neighbor, a nation which could legitimately claim to be the center of the world. Certainly, there is no better place to stage an army. From there, the Holy Empire's reach spans the Twins. The Non-Aggression Treaty was the only thing keeping them in check. But if they truly broke the pact without provocation, it is only a matter of time before others reply in kind. The Holy Empire. The Dalmechian Republic. The Kingdom of Walud. And of course, our friends in Yara. Who will be left standing, I wonder, when the last drop of blood is spilled? Oh my. You were born in Twinside. Do you not fear for your home? 
Oh, dark clouds are wont to gather over the Dominion. Yet in spite of it all, she has ever endured. And when the storm has passed, I am confident she will remain. Now, as to the matter of payment for today's lesson, complete a simple errand for me and we shall consider ourselves even. Even. Right. Return this volume to old tomes in the shelves. Tell him it was... Um, adequate. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to visit our resident historian. Did he survive? class now? I'm glad he made it out. Hippocrates. Now that is a name I have not heard for a long time. So long, in fact, I had half forgotten it was mine. Welcome home, Clive. You were missed, as always. I believe this belongs to you. Vivian asked me to return it. I think dogs' lifespans in Final Fantasy are a lot different than dogs' <laughs> Our resident uh, IRL, considering it can wield fire. <laughs> Would that I could do the same. But alas, I no longer possess the necessary constitution for such indulgence, either in words or tarts. That said, I have continued my search for mention of the creature you encountered at Drake's head. But... Without access to the great libraries of Oriflam or the Dominion, I regret that I have been able to find little and less. I am sorry. Please, don't apologize. I'll send word to our associates. See if they can't furnish you with more books. I fear it is not more books that I require, but the right ones. Mayhap we look in the wrong places. There are still libraries to the north. I'll see what I can do. You are too kind. There are not many in this world who would indulge the whims of a tired old historian. I'm not too tired to go filching Kubo nuts, though. <laughs> He's got a pocket for him. Nix him off the Moogle. Hush now. We all know there's no such thing as Moogles. <laughs> there's one downstairs! The twins seem well. Aye. Yet they laugh far too little for one so young. The loss of their parents weighs heavy on them. However well they hide it. We literally have a Moogle called Nectar. Does nobody see them? From some more than others. And the wounds that remain. They are not quick to heal. Which is why we must give them all the time they need. That we must. Just as I must give you the time you need to recuperate. Good day, Clive. Good day. Good day. Good day. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll be back soon. I should get some rest while I can. I sure, I sure. Is that really a rule? I've never noticed it because almost everyone seems to see him. Like even the kids were like around him saying like, he looks so funny. Oi! He looks so funny! Not back a blink and you're already off solving everyone's problems. It looks good, Clive. Goes well with the scowl. I'd had that brand for so long. I'd forgotten what life was like without it. What it was like... to be myself. And it's all thanks to you, Talia. The scalpel did most of the work. Ah, before I forget, a rider was here with a letter from Gav. Otto left it on your desk. Otto stole us. All right. I'll have a look. And then you get some rest. We're here so long. What could Gav have thought worthy of a letter? 
good question. But what you got for me? Life. <sighs> Things here ain't too bad. I, I suppose. I've got a decent hammer, a decent anvil, and a uh, apprentice that knows his hammer from his cock. <laughs> oh, and the furnace is all right and all. Thanks to old Sid's bellows. The gods only know how I'd keep the coals hot enough for out here on the mirror without them. Not with bloody crystals, that's for sure. No, I reckon you won't find a forge like this one if anywhere else in the twins, and I count myself lucky to work it. Thanks for keeping me Thanks for keeping me on. You need anything? You give us a shout. Ask about the five past five years. What you've, you've gone already? Oh, because I haven't. It was a right pain in the arse getting this place into shape, especially with the mess we were in. Not that it was anything new for those of us who put the old hideaway Still. together. Still, that don't mean I intend on doing it again. And yeah. Did I? Did, did I? Put on the blade? No. Oh, no, I did. Yes, yes. Oh, that looks sick. Oh, that looks sick. Look at that blade. Oh, man. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay. We go. Have you been to the top? Oh, hey, Jill. Hey. Otto was here earlier with a letter from Gav. He left it on your desk. Thanks. Wall of Memories. Created the day Clive pledged his allegiance to Sid. This crystal shard transfixed with twin daggers is a powerful reminder of a promise made, a friendship forged, and a legacy inherited. I'm sorry, hold on. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the reading table. Reports, letters, and other important missives addressed to Clive are delivered to the blank reading table in his chambers. New messages are always arriving, so make it a point to check the reading desk upon returning to the hideaway. Uh, the Republic's play. The Republican army marches um, on the Empire at Twinside and the men of the Rock have been summoned to the front. Something big is brewing, I reckon. I'll see you're done to, to wear upon my return, Gav. No, Dan. What does Gav have to say? Yes, I'm crying. The army is on the march, leaving Randala in Hugo Kupka's charge. With him and his men occupied with the defense of the capital, they're less likely to trouble us. Good news, then. It's more than that. This is our chance, the one we've been waiting for. Yeah, Neon. Although I feel like once all the mud of their crystals are taken come. out, I think all that we have people wouldn't really be friends, possessed with that. The hideaway, are they not cause Maybe? for joy? Maybe. Five years. Five long years. If I could only command this power I've been granted, we might have achieved so much more. But each time I reach for it, it's like something is holding me back. Summoning an icon exacts a price not easily paid. Your body knows this only too well. It's merely trying to save you from yourself. And every burden I cannot bear falls to you. This mission of ours has made me question everything I thought I knew. But one thing has become abundantly clear. The crystals take more than they give. In exchange for momentary comfort, we must endure a lifetime of pain, war after war, loss upon loss. And now? Now they rob us of our very homes, leaving naught but dust and ash. But you're trying to change that. We are trying to change that. And to me, that's no burden. Agreed. I'm so sad. I know, but... Try not to forget. We're only here because Joshua gave us a second chance. 
It would be a pity to waste such a precious gift. So they didn't really get to reunite with him? That's so messed up. It is. It was there. It wasn't an illusion. I heard him call out to Ultima. If Joshua is still alive, he'll be looking for that... that thing. Do you think he will ever come no, back? No, no. I know he will. How cute would that be? He must be ready when he does. Stop that, stop that. No! Without mother crystals, to sit. To sit. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. Wait, what? It, it, it spread quicker? For the twins are no more. Sweet, sweetie, sweetie. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother. Are our efforts in vain? Oh, he's trying to do the same thing? Master Clive, a moment if you... Uh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just... Discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. You're <laughs> Wait, wait, this way. Oh. Oh, okay. It's my balcony. Hello, people. Okay. This way I go. A baby. Nectar, Otto. best character, any. Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria ever started a fight over at Martha's best, Rest. Best character ever. Blood was spilled, bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like a car. <laughs> Sorry. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool. The you Empire sure? has been tightening its grip around the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. Oh my god. It sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers, meek enough to stay put. 
Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing. Complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. She's fallen into the hands of the Empire. We could be next. A couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. Jeez. Find the curse breakers. All right. Looks like no side. Oh, wait, there's a side quest right there. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, don't sigh. Don't sigh. Stop sighing. Nah, he's a spoiled brat. Finish with that long box, box Sid. Yeah. It's me, Sid. <laughs> Damn blighted bilge. Is everything all right? Aside from the holes in my hull, everything's roses. <laughs> the lake water doesn't agree with it, then. That's one way of putting it. And unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Not any bloody more. Doubt the old tub's got more than a dozen runs left in him. Oh. Someone finds you some pitch? Of course, Obelus. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere, which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. Thank and goodness. It just so happens, I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Might be enough to tide me over. Sweet. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's for certain. Alright, let's do this. I just noticed the name of that quest. It is called Cock and Ball. Okay. 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 You're clever. You guys are clever. You're clever. Time to go get this cock and ball. No. There we go. Cock and ball. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm glad there's senses of humor still in this game after destroying and destroying me emotionally. We are not going to go down that way. That's going to hurt. You know, it'd be great. A chocobo. My chocobo, in fact. The one who saved my life. That'd be nice. Time to kill. Easier than felling a forest, I said. Trees don't have teeth. Nice. 
well. Nice. <laughs> I got five of them. That's all you need. Not to imagine needing any more than this. Time to head home. Time to give him his cock and ball. Here, you can have a pet, Torgle. We a good boy. We a good boy. Now you know me. You're a good girl. You're a good girl, though, huh? Yes. Are you a good girl? We a good girl. We a good girl. We a good girl. You a good girl? I know you're a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. All right, back I go. This game's so good! I went the wrong way! Oh, uh, why would you spawn me if, well, actually that's better. Cause I probably don't need to be on the dock as often as I, I'm being right now. up I have come bearing gifts Finish with that lot. Box, let me place this cock and this ball in your palm well did you find me some wax yeah find is one way of putting it here you go Ugh. reeks like a chocobo's ass <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Yeah. Argo? So your boat has a name? I didn't know. Yeah. Same as my old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. Oh. And thanks to you, he'll sail another day. I'm glad to help. He named him after his dad. Oh. Thanks for the follow. Thank you. Yay. Na 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 na. Okay. I'm going to put on this breath of fire. Ramu. Okay, let's see what you got going on over here. Oh yeah, that's a okay. So what's this? Create a ball of lightning that upon being struck chains lightning to other Oh. Summon from the heavens a mighty leaven bolt that deals massive damage to a single target. That'd be nice for boss fights. 2300. So what about... Oh! Okay. Sweet! I'm gonna put that on here. I can't wait to try that. All right, now we have to find the curse breakers, which I would like to make sure. It, well, I haven't found where the uh, guy's at. The one with the book, State of the Realm. No, was that it? Shop, Orchestrian, Forge, The Thousand Tomes. Oh, is it this here? The state of the realm? No, that's the map room. Reading tables. Shop. So where's the... Where's the guy who tells me where there's quests and stuff? He's usually... In the mess hall, right? You know what? I'm gonna go check the mess hall real quick. I don't know.
don't know if he actually has a spot on the map or not. Because uh, the more I do the side quests in this game, the more I want to do side quests in this game. They're really cool. No, this is the mess hall then. What? Is it? This is the mess hall? Where's the dude keeping you track of the- sorting those reports yet? Oh, is this guy? Finished. I ain't started. Been busy enough with my own work. You're putting my leg on, yeah? Okay, he probably just doesn't have anything for me yet. Uh, I'm gonna check what she has, and then I'm gonna go do the main quest. Ah, my favorite pupil. One would think. My role was abundantly clear by now. I offer you and yours the guiding light of knowledge, that of matters military and political, both past and present, that it might illuminate your way ahead. For it is only by understanding that uh, what has be what has come before that one might steer one's way toward a brighter future. It's so hard to talk like this. Like the way they talk is, is hard to... <laughs> your role, meanwhile, is to ensure that I remain furnished with as much information on the state of the realm as your people can muster in order that I might continue to appraise the dispositions of the great nations and those who rule them. <laughs> and of course, to pay attention during my lectures, it would not do to appoint the story Nine Tales as your tutor only to disregard her expert advice. Uh, I admit. When I took up the professor's bonnet and began teaching at the University of Canver, I did not think of for a moment that I would one day count Sid the outlaw among my pupils. But nor did I imagine that my fellow educators would have designs on my life, and we both know how that ended. Has it been a year already? <laughs> Such is the peril of an overly inquisitive mind, I suppose. One is, is wont to uncover that which others would go to great lengths to ensure remained hidden. Were it not for you and our mutual friend ha having come to the rescue, my curiosity would likely have proved f fatal. But instead, I was not only saved, but granted a new lease of life, as personal tutor to a band of outlaws, no a less. Far more reputable fellowship. Than anything in the art academic world, I assure you. I kind of wish all of these were voice, but that's okay. My beloved homeland. The crossroads of Valistia, where one only has to stroll the streets to hear news from every far-flung corner of the realm. Its mother crystal yields more shards than any other, and its lands even now remain untouched by the blight. It is a blessed country indeed. Or at least it was. Until San Brick elected to invade and establish a new holy capital under twi upon twin sides heretofore neutral shores. <clears throat> it pains me to see the land I loved so changed, and even more to know that I did not predict it. I knew that Emperor Sylvester had designs on the N Dominion, but to abandon Oriflam. The seat of the Holy Empire since its inception seemed too audaci audacious a move, even for him. How may I help you today? By speaking with Vivian in the Hideaway's map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current goings on in Valistia, revisit one of the Nine Tales past lessons, or take a deeper look in the relationships of those individuals in Clive's orbit. The Grand Cast. Of course. Here you can view a detailed visualization of character relationships in Final Fantasy 16 that updates as you progress through the main scenario. Press L1, R1 to cycle through pivotal, mi pivotal milestones in Clive's adventure. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So it's, it's basically giving you a summary of everything that's happened so far. So like right here uh, is when they march to to uh phoenix gate this is after phoenix gate or like the night of phoenix gate uh when was that the iron kingdom's unholy crusade oh no no yeah yeah, yeah. oh no sorry nitzo Hope you feel better once you get some rest. It's General Dog's body? That's his his name? Hideaway leader. Ramu's dominant.
And that's when Benedicta died. Uh, oh yeah, when you meet Hannah, the end of Eastpool, Hannah's dead. That's cool. It even shows you like who attacked what with uh, how the arrows are pointing and stuff. And now we know they're alive. Okay, that's cool. Very good. Okay, bye. Sorry, that took a long time. I was just... That's a really cool system. I like that. All right. What happened here? Oh, no. We need to find the others. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no. Imperial, let's stop staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical. When they said Martha, I didn't think that it was this Martha. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You were. Uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but all our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. Oh no! Bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. <sighs> but um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. A culling? You've got to be kidding me. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. Yeah. What a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. You mean your mother who hates bearers? I want that woman dead so bad. If those orsons touch an arrow on Martha's head. That company can wait. Look. Up ahead. Martha. Are you hurt? Don't worry about me. It's them at the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. Seems a step too far, even for the Empire. Yeah. <laughs>
Can you guys get out of the way? This one. Get off. Oh wait, I wanted to try out the new Garuda. You know what? I'm gonna try it out on them. Uh, get out of here, please. Thank you. I'm a try. Oh no. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. <sighs> that bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Clive's mad. Oh, he mad. Oh, that was sick. Holy crap! Dance, my pretty dance! I'm quite happy with that Garuda move. Quite happy indeed. Mm-hmm. Yep. That was sick. Is that all of them? I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. I must know. I must know if he's still alive too. Please tell me you're alive, Mr. Abbot. Oh no. Thunder. The abbot. died protecting him calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies Clive he's breathing we're friends of Martha we're here to help are the Imperials dead they are every last one If only that were true. <coughs> the black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. 
Rosaria will never be safe unless we save her. Tell Martha to beg Sid's aid and tell her this wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Clive. Oh, he's gone. <sighs> this game really knows how to hit you in the field, like over and over. We've laid the abbot to rest. The bears. They didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms. Fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds. Threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearer's remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Radix jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get someone to... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Man! I don't want to end this yet until we perform this and lay them to rest. Oh no! What are you doing here, Ariman? Bounty? Every now and then Clive may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While fight while flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks can earn him not only renown but also rare materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing. I see that Yoshi P has incorporated hunt targets. I I am I am pleased. A <laughs> yeah, right? Only a little bit, okay? Oops! So I meant to get out of there, and then I didn't. And then the Ariman handed me my butt. Not to move. You'll only make it worse. I'm not dead. Uh, I want to go that route again because I would like to try to fight that Arvin. If only I had a chocobo. Oh yeah. Oh no. If killing everything on the field means my teammates may fail, it's so be it. As long as we all win in the end. Oh yeah. Yeah. At least you're with me, boy. Boy! Oh, the Ari men's still standing there. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna do it. Thank you, founder. All right, let's try to take this out again.
Uh-oh. Oh, yeah? Eleven levels higher to humble me four times away. Oh no! Hunt <laughs> one. Let's go. Bye, Dion. Stupid, stupid argument. That must be the bridge. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden and bear it out to sea. A 
And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. We go back. I don't know why, but I heard like a really weird pop up. This is so sad. All those people. And the abbot who is just trying to give them like final moments of peace, you know? This music's a bit too, too happy for this. survived then I'm sorry before he passed one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself does it mean I won't does it mean their blood's not on my hands Cole said you cast their remains that was good of you but it should have been me this was all my fault how you couldn't have known but I did, and I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them, preferably big ones. <laughs> those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. She needs to move out of here. Man. I can't help but feel that uh, his mother knows that Clive is um actually a bigger deal than she thought and now she's probably trying to cold uh bears knowing that he would he he is one uh just to make sure he can't come come uh seek revenge maybe i don't know that's a guess we'll see though because we are blasted through this story oh man you are watching.